If you are a landlord and you are renting to people that have Section 8 vouchers, there are two things that you really should understand. One of them is voucher size and the other one is this HUD heartbeats to a bedroom rule. And I've been learning a little bit about that and I wanna share that with you today. I'm Monique Burns. My husband and I have been working with Section 8 tenants since 2008 when we bought our first house and our very first tenant had Section 8 and she's still there. And we've been placing many tenants since then. From 2015 to 2020, I had a property management company. Now my husband and I are flipping houses and I'm starting to offer consulting. My email address is right here or check below, link out to my website. I don't have it up at the time I'm making this about what kind of consulting I'm offer offering, but it's coming. So follow my journey with that. Let's start with voucher size. So for instance, my tenant that moved in in 2008 had a three bedroom voucher and she had three kids and guess what? They all grew up and I need to call her because I want to do another rental increase, but I don't know what bedroom voucher size she has. If she's down to a one bedroom, I am in trouble because HUD has their HUD FMR. I'll give you a sample across the screen of their limitations to how much rent I can raise my rent up to. If she's down to a one bedroom and I thought I had a three bedroom tenant, that's not such a good thing. So my suggestion is when you have a house that you are listing for rent, you want to make sure when the tenants call that have a voucher, you say, hey, so what's your voucher size? And that means like, how many bedroom voucher do you have? And oftentimes they'll say, well, I have a two bedroom voucher, but I can rent your house. You have your three bedroom house that you have listed for 1200. Well, that may be, but then when a year comes up and I wanna raise it to as much as I possibly can and I'm pushing the top of that HUD FMR, I can only raise it to the two bedroom amount and not the three bedroom amount. So that's a problem for me. So be aware of that. And like with my tenant now, I have to weigh, okay, she's been with us so long. It's like, she feels like family. It's not like I can kick her out at this point because I have a heart. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Like, okay, you're out of there. Nice knowing you, your kids grew up. I mean, I could, but I don't think we're going to do that because then we would have to really do a lot of work probably again <laughs> in the house. So we're probably just going to keep her for a while and just kind of ride it out. And the rent's not terrible anyway, what we're getting. So let's talk about heartbeats per bedroom. So if you're, you have a house and you think like, okay, it's, it's two kids per room is what we think in real estate. Well, I am a licensed real estate agent. And part of being a licensed real estate agent is that we go through training once a year. And I remember, and I wish I could quote this. I wish I could show you the study, what happened, but I will just never forget this one story that we learned um, in our yearly continuing education class. And it was about um, this woman that had a, a studio apartment for rent. And it was described like there was nothing but a bed in the room and this tiny kitchen and a shower in the bathroom. So it's not like somebody could have slept in a bathtub or something. And a father and his little, I picture like 16 year old sexy daughter come marching in to rent the place. And the landlord said, I'm not renting that to you. This is a one bedroom and you know, it's in, and that's kind of gross. So, and that's your daughter and where's she going to sleep? So no, I'm not renting to you. And this woman got sued for discriminating against familial status because that's not really up to us. And with section eight, HUD is like, okay, two heartbeats per room. So let's say you're, you're interviewing an applicant and you say, okay, I have a three bedroom house and they have a three bedroom voucher and then you ask for the size i say how many people are living there i try to avoid the word family because after hearing that story i'm like ugh, you got to be careful with that so who all is living there and they'll say oh well my um three kids and two boys and one girl so i'm like okay that works out two boys they'll put in one room one girl in the other room but actually the really technical rule is that section eight will say you can have two heartbeats per room and i was asking recently like how is that because there could be like step siblings and you could get yourself in all kinds of trouble because you could be like thinking of that apartment 
studio story and be like, okay, you're going to put that 15 year old boy with that 13 year old girl and they're not even brother and sister. And even if they are like, they're going to be in the same bedroom. And actually you can't go there because that would be considered you making a judgment on their familial status and what they function like as a family and a living room could be considered a sleeping room so it's not for us to say that's gross you're not doing that and hud isn't there to protect us because they have their just basic rule two heartbeats per bedroom Ooh. so it's something to be careful about, but I believe that the housing commissions make adjustments on the bedroom size if the family is also working. So like if the person with the voucher is is not contributing at all to the rent that the government's paying all the rent, they might have like a two bedroom voucher and a boy and a girl. So the mom's in one room and the son and daughter are in the other room. But then once she gets a job, it could work out that she gets a three bedroom, but it's no guarantee. So it's just something to think about. Don't stick your foot in your mouth and tell them like that's weird and gross and you can't put kids together because it's not for us to say what families do. Um, touchy subject. I hope that helped. <laughs> I hope that made sense. Comment below if you have any questions.